So AI is only about two years old now, so let's see how well it knows its history. So we're just gonna go through history, taking each year summed up in one person, starting with 1960. All right, I'd say the outfit checks out pretty well. It looks like it's trying to say something with the newspaper, but I can't really tell what that is. All right, with 1961, we've just got a bunch of guys in suits, and uh, the number 1961 looks like it uh, had a really hard time writing that. 1962 is all about Marilyn Monroe. I guess that being the year she died, she must have been in the news quite a bit. 1963, we got Martin Luther King Jr. So yeah, I guess that a lot of years were remembered for just very iconic single moments. 1964 looks like the start of the whole hippie phase. I also love that it's like, it's got to include the technology of the time with that radio and that uh, talk radio. And 1965 looks like things haven't changed too much. 1966, there seems to be a lot of emphasis on the hairstyles. 1967 is when we see the invention of full-on hippies. 1968, we got Muhammad Ali. Uh, this must have been back when people actually cared what uh, celebrities had to say about the news. 1969, we're back to the hippies. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is when Woodstock happened, so um, I'm kind of surprised there wasn't a little more emphasis on that. 1970, okay, that's a little bit more of what I was expecting. Although it looks like he's having a hard time holding that blunt between his fingers. 1971, we've still got the hippies, but it looks like there's a lot of emphasis on the war, the space shuttle. Uh, I think there's even some references to the Beatles somewhere in this collage. 1972, now the, this one's a bit of a weird one because it's all referencing The Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd, and that album didn't actually release till 1970. I don't know, maybe this guy got a pirated copy a few months early. Wow, 1973 was a bit of a jump. So it went from all of these like very culturally iconic moments to just regular everyday fashion. Uh, looks like Pink Zeppelin was the big band in 1974. You know, all the members of Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin came together to make a, a big uh, collab and it was all the rage that year. 1975, we're showing off the vinyls, but I have no idea what the vinyl is for on this one, unfortunately. 1976, wow, that is a lot of different kinds of radios. I kind of hate that there's so many different devices just called radios because they've been referring a lot of different things in this video. 1977. Come on, I, I asked you to sum it up in one person, not a whole diorama with uh, Jesus, Superman, uh, some politicians, <laughs> and action figures. 1978. Uh, this one's a little strange with that 3x3x2 Rubik's Cube. Uh, that's gonna get a little awkward to solve, but they also gotta include the disco ball, the roller skates, and grease. <laughs> 1979. Just smoking next to the giant disco ball with the giant pants, the giant platforms, the Newsweek, and the Coca-Cola. <laughs> Man, talk about product placement. The year 1980 if one person. Female Asian. <laughs> okay, if 1980 was a person, it would be a female Asian. Wow, 1981 apparently summed the entire year up just from Princess Diana getting married. I guess that was the most important thing that happened that year. Uh, 1982 must have really gone off the rails because we got this like turtle monster fighting in a big crowd on the roof of a tall building in New York City. What does it mean? I don't know, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> 1983, uh, it looks like this one man is being made up of Haban Bibum, male, South Asian, and Rodis. So he's part robot, part Asian, part male. Wow, this one is literally 1984. I mean, it's all summed up into that one person. 1985, this is probably one of the most perfect ones so far. I mean, everybody was driving DeLoreans at the time. They were always traveling into the future or in the past. Rocking their cassette players and their hoverboards. Well, 1986, labeled 96, uh, this just looks like a whole bunch of like internet icons. And also apparently the iPhone was invented in 1986. I guess it just uh, took a couple decades to get off the ground. 1987 was just a, a little miniature city. 1988 with the big stereos, the big denim, the big hair, the big earrings, everything just kept getting bigger. 1989, uh, we switched from denim to leather. <laughs> I think this is when the uh, the whole punk scene started to become a little bit bigger. Wow, uh, 1990, I guess things started to get a little funky. But man, those Rubik's Cubes, they sure were an icon for a long time. 1991 with the MTV and the Nirvana. This picture actually looks like it was taken in 1991. 1992, basically the exact same thing, but this time with Wayne's World. All right, 1992. Whoa, uh, I guess Janet Jackson was just a dinosaur for a little while. I, I actually can't tell if that's a reference to something or if the bot was just way off on that. I don't know, maybe it's mixing up the Jurassic Park thing with that and they just kind of overlapped. 1994, my home year. Uh, at this point, we're really just looking at whatever bands are on the wall. 1995, uh, this one looks more like it's just a modern day Instagram model posing as being in 1995. 
Also, what size is that tape? I don't know of any player that that's gonna fit in. 1996. Okay, the Game Boys I get, the clothing I get, the weird trinkets I get, but what the heck is that in the top left? Is that uh, a real device? Is that like the very earliest uh, Sony PSPs? <laughs> is that supposed to be a Game Boy Advance? <laughs> 1997. Uh, they really wanted to show us how much they really love Titanic. They needed two posters behind them about the Titanic movie. Also the fact that they now have cell phones. Ooh, 1998, now we have Google. And also flip phones that can take pictures, although I think he's faking it. 1999 looks like uh, an homage to The Matrix, which sounds about right. Wow, the year 2000, apparently we jumped way into the future. Actually, you know what this looks like? It's as if somebody in 1980 was using this AI generator to see what someone in the year 2000 would look like. 2001, I mean, this is a lot more than one person, but I'll take it. Lots of guns, robots, cars, and Batman. 2002, I feel like this is when the internet was like trying to take off and a lot of people are trying to make money from it. Now 2003, I, I love it when the AI just takes it way too literally. Cause so many times you see an image of something and then you look closer and you're like, wait, that's not even a thing. All right, 2004, we got Green Day on the shirt, Green Day on the uh, iPod, Green Day on the TV, but he's also got to include Where's the Beef? Because, uh, yeah, we we can never forget that. 2005, we've got even more Green Day. They even have a poster saying Green Day, 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 Green Day, but also the Nokia. 2006, ah, what a great time to be alive. Emo hair, MySpace, flip phones. Uh, what I would give to not go back in time. 2007, uh, I don't know why it just has to break every so often. 2007 was all about being male and ethnically ambiguous. 2008 is when we go full emo, and uh, I guess you've got to bring your little iPod brother with you everywhere you go. 2009, we got Windows XP. I think this is also the first smartphone we've seen so far. 2010, this guy looks pretty normal, although I don't know what that Muppet looking thing behind him is. All right, 2011, we got the anonymous mask saying Occupy Wall Street. It gave me four images to choose from, and all four of them spelled Occupy Wall Street wrong. All right, 2012, we've got iPhones and a whole lot of other stuff going on. I gotta be honest, once we pass the 2000s, these photos have been a lot harder to generate. Like back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, it was super easy, like they were super iconic. But once we hit the 2000s, I've been having to generate so many just to get a semi-decent one. Now with 2013, definitely the big rise of social media. But from this point on, the fashion really hasn't changed much at all. 2014, again, lots of social media. Um, this is when uh, narcissism starts to get on the rise. Huh, okay, so 2015 is apparently the same as 1971, except now they have iPhones. Oh, okay, so in 2016, uh, apparently this guy's playing both sides. He feels the burn and he wants to make America great again. 2017, we've got fidget spinners and fire festival. Oh, and it also called out Bitcoin. I'm actually impressed on this one. Uh, okay, I guess 2018 is when we really hit rock bottom. 2019, all right, I think it's getting a little ahead of itself. Uh, we're not quite to 2020 yet. <laughs> and now we get to actually 2020. All right, the face with the mask, I, I definitely expected that. But then there's like the cameras, the drugs, the guns, the wasps and the monsters. That was uh, quite the year. I don't remember all of this. And with 2021, just more masks, more chaos, more times that I'm very glad are over. 2022, a whole lot more of social media. And 2023, I guess we're all just robots now. You know, let's see if it'll just give us something for 2024. <sighs> of course, they've uh, they got to bring the masks back. Well, that was an interesting journey to look through. You know, at the start, I was wondering if AI was going to know its history really well, but apparently it knows its history better than uh, the modern age. Because like I said, it was much easier to get good photos between the 60s through the 90s than it was post-2000. Like, I don't know, I feel like we just don't really have very iconic culture anymore. Everything's so disjointed, the only thing everyone talks about now is news and politics. But that's all, I'll see you next time.